had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. Is it, it's his old office! It's his old office! Full circle! Office. Look at this. Oh. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. Ah. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr. My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. That's right, baby. <laughs> oh, Mr. Calavera. The Reapers I come. I need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners. Yeah, that's right. I'm you tell them, Calavera. You to the compost pile. I... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I kind of feel bad for the little guy. Oh gosh. Here we go. This is it. Get him. Let's go. Although my range fighting is terrible, so Manny, you aim. Oh, oh, shh. Bye. Oh man, he took quite the fall. And I would know. Hello? Pigeons? Friends now? Yeah, uh, you guys gonna cause problems or what? It's a ladder. Yes, climb the ladder. I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the legs pointed too far down and it looks like Hector blew the motor. Okay. Where's the motor? How do we affect the motor? Where's the motor? Music is so good, I know. You're so right to be small. Oh, here we go, here we go. It's a ladder. Not picking that up. I bet I could get it. Let's come over here. <laughs> Manny running in like basically stiletto heels. as a structural support for Glamour Girl here was a bad idea. We have to break it, do we? How about a little ding 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 There can't be too much in here. Okay. I better save it. I tried. It's Sproutella, not Spackle. <laughs> it's not Spackle. Dang it, Manny. Yeah, look the part, baby. I don't want to mess up my blade. Yeah, it's like hard. Okay, so we gotta break that. Well, so much for my third arm. Oh, look at that. Hill grinder. We're out of the arm. Nitrogen, not to be used on bone. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. All right, so they really don't want me to use that there. I think using that old gargle as a structural support for it's cracked, but still stronger than me. It's cracked, but still stronger than me. It's cracked. So. Can we just like freeze the crack and then like you know like put things inside of it and it'll sprout there? 
There can't be too much in here. I better save it. Hmm. Let me see here. There we go. I knew it. I had to pour that in. Okay, okay. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Cause I just I had to put the bones in there first. Yeah, it's gonna happen eventually. Man, we just saved the day by breaking everything. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Got it. There they are, and they move. Once they find their owners. Aww. That one must be yours. Don't forget to send the help. Mm -hmm. Oh no! What the? What the crap? His birds are still around? Oh, ow. He's still alive? Hi. Juan. Juan Salvador. Oh man, go Claudius! Get in, quick. We were supposed to have coverage back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. No! Hola, yeah. Manuel. <laughs> Salvador, I knew you well. Gosh. Time for you to swing, daddy -o. Let's see. I knew you were bad. Did you see Gladys give her the side eye as she walked by? Gladys has the best intuition. I knew it. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector Oh, is, screw you. Make you. a lot of enemies. Sing to this. What? You know, you really have bad taste in men. No, I have a taste for really bad men. There's a difference. Watch it, sister. That'll do, That'll do something to your you life. Scat, man. See you the the bottom boat. Ah, she's just a gun. I love how we're in the Reaper outfit now. It's great. All right, let's do this. I knew that was the final confrontation. Let's make this happen. Hmm. Hector supplies water to keep the flowers alive. Does he see them as a memorial or as trophies? Not thirsty. Yeah, right. Hmm. She took the sight! Oh my gosh, we genuinely don't have the sight! Much in here. I better save it. Whoa, this is the first time we've not had the sight. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Wow, they took the sight. Look at this, a floral arrangement for the final. What do they want me to do? No, like not the not the adventure itself, but like why did she bring me here? Just to like walk in here? I she know. loves me. She loves me not. Well, you're half right. Oh Manny, so cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I see. <laughs> I guess Domino is right. You don't have a shred of optimism. He's a realist. Well, when that. it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. <laughs> oh. And by that same logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. <sighs> is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? Go ahead, get the evil shit. Take us from innocent souls, pretended to sell them, but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. <laughs> Oh no, Manny! <laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour because that idiot bowels they ran off with all their fast acting sprout era. Very slow stuff will sprout you. But it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. 
Oh no, Manny. Manny, where are you going? You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> God, you're not even that good of a villain. You said leave! Leave! You're supposed to make the pun on the... Whatever. Manny. Don't give up. Green. Spreading. So painful. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh, uh, nice job, Manny. Rip it off. Gracias, Toto Santos. Nice job, Totos. How about that for a corsage? Come on, shake it for me, baby. One of you must be mine. I see. <sighs> She wants more than anything to be able to leave herself. They all just want a way out. In the end, they all just want a way out. He truly gave his body to the cause. Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car, but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right. And tell Eva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. And when I bite this explosive tooth, the deadly cloud will sprout not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you- Hey, get out of there. Farewell, my friend. What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? <laughs> huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolucion! <laughs> oh, jeez! Whoa! <laughs> Sal... <laughs> I'm sorry, Sal. He truly gave his body to the cause. He's fine right where he is. Nothing like the real McCoy. Hey, my scythe. Yeah, there we go. Well, what do you know? Sal had a ticket all No, along. that's so sad. Sal had a ticket and it's not going to do anything for him now. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. Hey, buddy. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. I'm sorry, Mr. Ticket. Sal's not going to be able to come with Figures. Him. Doesn't seem to be one for me. Oh, Manny. I'm sorry, Sal. Oh, this is sad. It's like, it's like a dog who, like, stands by its owner's grave and wants it to come. Oh, that, that stuff breaks my heart. I can't. I can't do that. Can't do that. Feels awful. Okay, let's go behind the greenhouse. Manny, you're killing me. Thank you. This is the way in. I just hope there's a way out. Okay. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. It's all gone. Nothing left. You think they had it? Oh my gosh. Man, he almost sprouted there. Oh my gosh. Alright, man, just run around this way, okay? You just run around this way. Oh, his ticket will help me find where his body is. Derp. Derp derp then. I just realized that. I don't want to mess up my blade. Because the ticket's going to be drawn to the body. I'm not doing anything now. Alright, so we got to go up behind again. This time we use the thing. Manny, please. Come on. Nope, go up, 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 go up,
made it work for me. Made it work for me. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. Where? I'm not doing anything now. 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 Seems to be attracted to something over this way. Here we go. Time for a little bit of pruning. Nice. It's a gun. Go. This must be the key to Salvador's trunk. All right, the key. I already searched him pretty thoroughly. Sorry, Salvador. Thank you for your for your sacrifice for the cause. Oh no no no! No no what, Manny? Manny, you're killing me. Manny, I love you. Please, please, thank you. All right, we'll go this way. It's fine. One thing about these old ones, old uh, adventures like this, is Meg, gosh, sometimes think the angles that you have to get are like, oh, please. Lord, give me strength. There we go. Beep beep. Ah, yes. Lots of ammo. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. All right, let's do this. But we need to do something with this first, for sure. With the water, right? I guess we could just walk in and shoot him, but... Hmm, Hector supplies water to keep the flowers alive? All right, let's go. Let's let's do this. I'm not getting any closer until he runs out of ammo. If he runs out of ammo, that is. We're gonna run out of ammo. Okay. So we gotta like entrap him somehow. Empty gun. There's not much left we have. It's a handheld grinder. <laughs> I don't know what I thought that would do. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade. Man knows his limitations. I respect that. Hmm. Hector supplies water to keep the flowers alive? Does he see them as a memorial or as trophies? Hmm. Is there anything else in the car? Not. He truly gave his body to the cause. I hope the LSA got a good deal on this car. I left my tow truck back in my other suit. It's locked. We unlocked. Okay. Nothing like the real McCoy after I deal with Hector. Mm -hmm. 
Now what? He won't, we can't go and just approach him because he'll shoot us again and then we don't have any more nitroglycerin. So, we can't use that trick again. He's in there, I can see him. I already searched him pretty thoroughly. <clears throat> this is the way in. I just hope there's a way out. I'm not getting any closer until he runs out of ammo. If he runs out of ammo, that is. Mm. Not picking that up. So it has to be something with the water. Anything else I can... Nope. We are really like, the water is it. Okay. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Not thirsty. Oh yeah, it's a grinder. Nitroglycerin that doesn't have anything. It's all gone. It's all gone. Okay, so there's nothing else I can do with that. Ah. Okay, I see. Oh. Huh? Oh, man. Oh, jeez. That is... We're literally greenhousing him. That doesn't sound good. We greenhouse them. It's like when you do a fart under the covers and it can't escape. I'm sorry. It was what came to mind. Here we go. Whoa. Okay then. Nice. And that is how you take out the big bad. Watch out! Oh, we got Glottis and Mitchie. And we're all ready to go home. Don't you dare turn evil. This is it! The end of the line! You can count them if you want. They're all here. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. And, uh, demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, man, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. No. I can't ever leave this No! World. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assume I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this no, is No, God! He's gonna have so much. Give me, yeah, give me a hug. Yes, give a hug, yeah. <laughs> you were the best boss I ever <sighs> I love their relationship. I'm gonna miss you, Gladys. You're gonna do great. You're gonna be the best one. <laughs> You're gonna do great, buddy. You go serve your dream. Aw, hi, guys. Aww. Hi, Gladys. Years spent Mommy? together. Yeah. When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, is this. 
Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. So you might as well enjoy the trip. Aww. Ooh! Go on, go on, go on. Hello. Hi, Manny Blackwaters. My heart. Year four. And that was it. Oh, we did it. Oh, what an amazing adventure. Oh, even though it was hard at times because I got a little stuck, I really, really enjoyed it. Oh, that was so good. Man, that was awesome. Ah, cool. We did it. Oh, what a great adventure. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. That That is a fantastic part of the stream. I'm very, very impressed. Oh, thanks, Divizo. Thanks for all your help back there. It really, really did help. Yeah, that was great. That I know why this thing has a cult classic. It's like a cult following. That was really good. Tony Palana, well done. Very, very good job. Man, they voice acted so much too. And they do a lot nowadays, but there's a lot. There's a lot of um there's a lot of individuals. There's like there's a lot of um different games and stuff that like don't have voice acting all the time. And like it's really cool to see, like, I know point and clicks have it for most of it, usually, of course, but I was impressed. Like, that was all very good. Very good voice acting, very good environment and everything. Like, like you said to Vizmo, that was really awesome. <laughs> very unique. Very cool. And man, what an adventure. Wow. That's crazy. Fantastic music too, yes. Wonderful call out to that. Man, that was great. I was very, very impressed by that. Um, uh, so Manny and Meche get to go to the next life. They get to move on. And Gladys gets to find his dream and be so happy about it too, which is wonderful. Oh, that's so sweet. It's so sad to see them part. <laughs> Give me a hug. I was like, ah. I should listen to tonight. Hey, that's awesome. Huh? There we go. There's Grim Fandango. Finally fully done. It's a, it's a very involved adventure. There's a lot of steps to it. I knew it would be a bit longer, but I didn't think it would be this much. It was good. It was good. I was just like, wow. It really, really did take like a little bit. I was surprised. Nice. <laughs> Divismo. Next up, is your suit Larry, the new one. Uh, no. <laughs> I love you. No. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> I know what those are. They're funny. I've seen some of them played on some of the, like, uh, Game Grumps and stuff. But no, thank you. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Uh, actually, yeah, um, this will probably be one of the, at least for a long while, one of the last point and clicks I do. Um, just because I've talked before, I enjoy them a lot, but they are a little difficult sometimes. Like, they get you get stuck, and it makes it a little hard. So, I, I really did want to do Grim Fandango, though. I really, really did. This one has been on my list for a long while and I knew I always knew I wanted to do it and I always knew it was very good so I'm happy I did I have no regrets about doing it but I think I'm gonna leave the point and clicks away for a good while we'll go back to them at some point I, I think we will at some point might be a bit though but it is that was very very good I was very impressed by that Alright. And that is Grim Fandango, everyone. All finished. 
worth it. Grim Fandango is a beautiful game and world. Yes, yes it is. I very much agree with that. No, no, we're not gonna do it again. Hmm. Es Alright. In that case, that will be the end of that. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed it, Debismo. I'm glad to have gone into a part of the streams that you were very happy to see. I was very happy to be a part of it. I, I really, really did enjoy it. I Grim Fandango was one that I had been waiting uh, waiting on to do for a while. And let me change myself to just chatting. And uh, yeah, I was, I'm very happy to be able to like do it. So yeah, I, I, I thought that was really, really cool. I, I'm very, very um, impressed by it. I thought it was very, very good. Hold on. Just chatting. There we go. There we are. Okay. Yeah, so that was Grim Fandango, everyone. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And yeah, I, I really did enjoy it. I'm, I'm very glad I did that one. Because I was originally honestly thinking about not doing any more point and clicks at all. Um, and I think I will at some point way down the line, but I definitely want to take a break from them. They're just so, they're good, but they can have really slow stuck parts, which I think is kind of hard to watch, which is okay. No, that was just super, no, no, no. I'm good, thank you. <laughs> um, but I'm very glad I did Grim Fandango before I like didn't do another one for a long time or whatever, because that one was like, that is like, peak point and click that was very very good i was very impressed by that um the characters were so much fun they're all so witty the dialogue was really really well written the voice acting was great and the story was fun and the world yes the world was very very fun and imaginative and it didn't it it did a thing where, like, it was just a good world, and it didn't have to, like, exposition you on everything. You just kind of learned as you went, and you realized, like, how things function, and it was really good. Like, I, I, I appreciated it a lot. So, yeah, Grim Fandango, everyone. Um, so that'll be our dive into the streams today. Um, I also wanted to let everyone know, and... Uh, yeah, point and click basically ended with Grim Fandango. Yeah, I mean, they still do them. Um, I know that... Oh, I just closed Steam. There's a thing called Depona Journey or something like that I've heard is pretty good. Um, and, uh, oh, um, Unwritten Tales. Call out to that. Unwritten Book of Unwritten Tales is pretty good. I've actually seen the second one played before, and it was pretty good. I did enjoy seeing that. That was, that was a good one. Um, but yeah, point and clicks are just kind of hard because, you know, they're so... Yeah, the genre, as far as the genre in its prime, yeah, Dream Fandango is very good. But there are some other really good ones out there, too. There truly are. Um, it's just, you know, it, it can be kind of hard because moon logic and stuff, like, you have so many things to kind of go through on, a, on like, a screen and on, a, um, on, like, an adventure. So, like, trying to put everything together in a way that makes sense while still being a puzzle is kind of hard. But, yeah, I mean, it, it is very good. Uh, so, yeah. Um... I guess I can announce it now, especially since you're here, Divismo. Uh, just a heads up, um, this is really early of an announcement. Uh, I wasn't going to do this announcement for a good long while, but I'll go on ahead and like at least early, early, early tease it. Um, I am looking to change things up a bit. Um, there's some ideas that I've been having brewing in my head for a while. Because I do want to improve the streams. I do think that it could use some. I think that the way we do it is okay, but I do think it could use more. Um, and I've been thinking that for a while. Um, but I didn't know exactly what to do. And I've got an idea that I might do. There's something that I want to give a shot and we'll see. It's a little involved. So it's going to take me a while to get ready. Like I'm still in the earlier stages of getting everything together. Um, so you probably won't see it until 2022, in all honesty. I'm sorry, it's just going to take that long. Um, the other idea I had was just VTubing. I was thinking about going into that and changing things up for that, um, just because it does seem fun. And I thought of, honestly, whenever I first, and it was kind of housekeeping stuff, so we're done with Griffin, there you go. Um, when I first started, I almost started as VTubing, and I think it would be more lively and stuff like that, just because... 
my beautiful face is wonderful. <laughs> um, but I think it'd be more fun because I've been watching a lot more VTubers nowadays. I was like, oh, you know what? That seems more engaging than, than bouncy, I guess is the word for it, you know. So maybe that, but I have a different idea that I'm going to try and go with. Um, so I, we're way off from it, but I just kind of wanted to throw it out there. Um, so just just throwing it out there. It's going to take a while, so don't expect it for a bit. And we'll keep going like this for a good bit. Um, but yeah, so just wanted to throw it out there. Um, but if anyone does have suggestions for stream for the streams, um, I'd be more than happy to take any kind of uh, constructive criticism, suggestions, or anything like that. I I want to do this to glorify the Lord. That's the reason I started is to do streaming and from a from a perspective of following His way. And I thought that'd be really interesting and also be something I can give back. And I've always wanted to stream for a long, long time, so. I've always wanted to give it a shot, at least. Um, I may not be cut out for it, and that's okay, but I at least wanted to try. Uh, so if anyone has any suggestions, I'm more than happy to tr uh, like listen and do whatever I can to help. Um, I just want to make this good, and I'd like to make a little community, maybe sometime, but that's okay if it doesn't happen, too. Uh, so just trying to be a little transparent with all of it. Um, not because I was trying to hide anything, but I've, I've been thinking about it a lot lately, so... And I've already got stuff in the works for the idea stuff. So, but I wanted to go on ahead and make that known, just because we just finished, you know, Grim Fandango. It was such a big thing. So, figure out might as well, you know, put, you know, throw it out there and everything. Uh, but yeah, if anyone does have anything, feel free to throw it in comments or whatever, or even just DM me on Twitch or something like that. I'm fine with that. You know, anything else? Oh, Divismo, you do whatever you want. I come very close to person. It's nothing you need to change from my perspective. Thank you, Divismo. I greatly appreciate that. Um, I know you've always watched, and I really do appreciate it. Um, I, you've always like really been in the streams and helping me with it. I, I do greatly appreciate it. And your questions and your comments and everything. Like you've been great. And I thank you so much. And if if things do change in a new way, I'll make sure that I try to. I'll let. I'll see about like talking to you about it first and seeing what I can't do to help. I've got a demo idea and something I'm like maybe I can get together. So I'll see what I can do. Um, but yeah, for anyone else who maybe watches VODs or anything out there, because I think some of you do, feel free to throw in the comments and everything too. I'm more than happy to listen. Um, because my first goal for this, more than anything, is to glorify the Lord 100 percent This is for him, not me. My second biggest goal is to create a space that is calming or fun or some ways that can help others. Like so many streamers have helped me whenever I'm like been able to come home from a long day and just like, oh yeah, I get to watch Dodger stream or oh yeah, I get to like see Jesse be dumb or oh yeah, Blood Bowl with Crendor or something like that. Some of my favorites. Um, just kind of like relax and do that at the end of the day or, you know, while I'm eating or something fun. So it's kind of like a fun time and I wanted to do that for others if they wanted to, so. Um, and then, of course, and I've been told this a lot, and it's true, uh, for me to have fun, too, because if I'm having fun, it usually means things are better for the streams. Though the first two, I think, are more priority, um, especially the first one. But yeah, so, sorry, long tangent, different kind of thing, but I just wanted to throw it out there just because it is in the works, and we'll, we'll see, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll just see how things go. Um, but, but seriously, thank you to be small. I do appreciate that greatly. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you're going to leave now, I'm Icarus and these are the streams. Um, we go in, uh, three times a week. Uh, I will say, just as a reminder, another announcement, housekeeping kind of thing. Um, we will not be having any more streams for this week because yeah, it doesn't hurt to try new stuff. Thank you to be small. Although it could hurt the wallet for trying to get things together. <laughs> You gotta invest in order to do things. <laughs> I'm fine, don't worry about it. Uh, but anyway, we won't have any more streams ever. We're stopping forever. Goodbye, everyone. Forever. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, we won't have any more streams this week. Uh, I mean, no, don't worry to me, so I'm not. Um, I've got uh, a bunch of family stuff that's going on. Epsilon's wedding. It's the big one. So that kind of eats up the wait the weekend. I could technically stream on Sunday, but I'm I'm gonna take the day off. I'm not gonna try because I know I'm gonna be 
use your words carefully, tired. I was going to say wasted and then going to a wedding. Everyone would know what that means. I'm not drinking. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So basically, um, this the rest of this week will be kind of dead. But when we come back on Tuesday, September 21st, it will actually be the start of something very special. Uh, not, not very special, but something kind of special to me. Um, Epsilon won't be with us for a while, so I can tell you that. So it probably won't, it'll probably just be us, and we probably won't have any, anyone else on the streams. But we'll be diving into a part of the streams that I've been through a couple times and is one of my actual favorites. Though it is a bit mad in a few ways, I guess you could say. So prepare for that. But it'll also be a very important stream for a different reason. Um, so go on ahead and, if you'd like to, tune in on September 21st, and you'll kind of see maybe why. Um, I'll try to get some special stuff up for the streams itself and, like, the creator stuff and things if I can. But uh, just uh, keep that in mind. So we'll, you'll see. Uh, on Monday, you'll see what uh, is on there because I'll put it on the schedule. I can't put on I can't put a schedule up until uh, Monday of every week, by the way, because Twitch like gets rid of it. Um, but you'll be able to see it then. So stay tuned. Anyway, uh, once again, no streams for the rest of this week. But usually, I stream on Tuesdays, Friday nights, and Sundays, uh, Eastern time, um, Eastern Pacific time. No, yeah, Eastern, yeah, Eastern time. And uh, yeah, but for the rest of this week, no streams. But you can definitely catch me uh, um, at next week. So we'll be diving into something new. Aw, uh, thanks, Vizma. Have fun at the wedding. I will. And I know Obsidian will too, and, and Brombo, and all, and Val Valamir, and all of our friends. So it'll be really good. But if you're going to leave now, may God bless you. Uh, feel free to go to Icarus Redeemed on YouTube, Icarus underscore Redeemed on Twitter. Um, I usually post stuff on there. Um, and on YouTube, that's where all these VODs go up. So you can always watch everything if you miss something. And uh, yeah, so feel free to check those out if you want to. We also have a Discord. Once again, not a lot happening there, but once again, I'm trying to revamp, so we'll see how things go. If you're going to stick around a little longer, after every stream, I do like to share a little bit of God's Word. Like I said, glorifying Him in my streams is what's most important. He's the one who placed me here, and without Him, I wouldn't have the ability to do anything, much less stream. So I want to honor Him, at least in some small way, and share His Word and the truth that I believe in. So I'd like to share a little bit now. Uh, we've been going through Genesis together, and uh, we've been going through basically um, all of the patriarchs and how, you know, like, God created Adam and Eve, and then the fall and from the, uh, the fall from the Garden of Eden, and then Noah, and then we met Abraham. That was the big, that was our first big uh, lead into where we talk about now with Israel. The birth of the great nation. God promised Abraham that his seed would become a great nation, that he would bless, and through him come the Messiah eventually, of Jesus. So we saw Abraham and uh, Sarah, against all odds, have Isaac their son. Abraham and Sarah passed away. And then Isaac and Rebekah, his wife, had Jacob and... Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. How do I not know the second name? I have a scholar, everyone. Esau. Jacob and Esau. My goodness, self. So. Jacob and Esau. So when Jacob and Esau were born, this is what we said last time. When Jacob and Esau were born, Esau was born first, and he was like very hairy. He was like a tough, like tough baby from the start. And uh, he was basically like the firstborn, but Jacob came right after him, holding on to his heel. And there was a uh, a thing set, uh, there was a prophecy basically set by the Lord at that time where he said, This will be a there will be tension between these two brothers, and one will, the older shall serve the younger, which is not normal back in those days. The older usually got the birthright and all of the like inheritance and everything, the younger served. The younger still got stuff, but not near as much. Which for me being a firstborn, it's pretty good for me. <laughs> so how did how is the birthright? How is all of the inheritance gonna change like that? Is it just going to be because of some divine interference by the Lord? Like, is that like his, his will and he's just going to cause it? Well, we humans, of course, have free will. We have the choices that we make. And it's through free will and our own selfishness and short-sightedness sometimes that can cause us to lose things that are very important to us. 
So today we're going to see how the loss of the birthright happened. So just a reminder about the two brothers. Two brothers. When the boys grew up, Esau was a skillful hunter, a man of the field. He was like a strong, like, hunting man. He was outdoorsy, you know, that kind of thing. While Jacob was a quiet man dwelling in the tents. So the standard jock and nerd. <laughs> I'm kidding. But kind of, you know, inside guy and outside. Isaac, the father, loved Esau. He loved the, the man who could take to the wilds and kill some boar and let's go hunt some game together. Because he ate of his game. Because he ate the word. But Rebecca loved Jacob. Not that she didn't love Esau, but she had a favorite in Jacob. The younger, quieter one. So, how did Esau, the big, strong man, lose his birthright, lose his inheritance to Jacob? Well, this is how. Once when Jacob was cooking soup, he was making food, and you know, Esau came in from the field and he was exhausted. So he'd been out hunting, probably had a long day from sunrise to sunset, and he's like, you know, like, I'm starving, I'm gonna freaking die, I can't. And Esau said to Jacob, let me eat some of that red stew, for I am exhausted. Therefore, his name is called Edom, so they changed the name later. So he's like, please, give me food, I'm dying here. And Jacob, which, uh, a return of deceit, because we can't do anything nice as you know, you know, people of the Lord and the chosen nation. You realize why anyone starting to figure out why the Lord why it's good that the Lord's hanging on to us and we're not hanging on to him. Everyone get that yet? <laughs> Jacob said, sell me your birth right now. So he saw the situation. <laughs> Two brothers were cross attacked by Mexican tornado armada. <laughs> no, they were okay. They were safe. Although Esau didn't feel like he was. He was dying from starvation. Oh my gosh, drama queen. So Jacob, though, saw the situation and thought to take advantage of it. He saw it and he was like, I'll give you food. How about that inheritance, though? Right? And so Esau, being short-sighted like many of us are sometimes, said, I'm going to freaking die out here. I'm about to die. Of what use is a birthright to me? Like, what's the point? I don't need a birthright. I'm going to die here. Like, I'm so hungry and I've been out all day. Just, just whatever. So we didn't even think about like the implications of what that would mean about send, about transferring the main of his inheritance to Jacob. He just thought about what was in front of him. And like all of us do sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I look about just what's in front of me, not about the damage it could do later on. And there's a lot of damage that short sighted this can do. So Jacob said to him, swear to me now. And he's, he's, he's taking it seriously. Like, I've got him. If I can get him to swear, there's nothing going back on him. So Esau swore to Jacob and sold his birthright to him. And Jacob gave Esau bread and lentil stew, and he ate and drank and rose and went his way. Thus Esau despised or gave away or threw away his birthright. So birthright transfer complete. Esau, in his short-sightedness and, and impulsive nature, did not think about what could, what this would be for the future and gave away his birthright, the one that would transfer the legacy of the firstborn, which God promised to go through, to Jacob. Just as the Lord predicted, the older shall serve the younger. So, kind of a weird story, but it's true, and it's important because it helps us see what short-sightedness can do. Even if we're in a situation in that moment that seems awful, being able to understand that it, may, that it will pass can help us to make better decisions moving forward in it. Because was it a good meal, though? DeVismo, I'm sh I would hope it would be the best thing he ever tasted because you just sold everything of your future for it. I, I hope so. I, I hope Jacob made the meal of his life because that's the last one you're getting that's like that, buddy. So what will happen to the legacy? How will this work? Well... We will see that next time, next Tuesday, and see how this whole birthright transition comes to play and what happens because of what occurred between the two brothers. And there will be changes because of it, and some back and forth because of it, because, uh, uh, because of the incident as well. Some bitterness could brew too. We'll have to see. 
But let that be a lesson to all of us that impulsiveness in a moment where everything seems terrible, don't, and it's coming from a counselor, don't ever let your feelings overwhelm you. Feelings are fleeting. They're important. They're very good. They're God-given. They have their place, but they're fleeting. They're not there forever. And the, the situation that causes such intense emotions that could be terrible won't be around forever. They will pass. So it's kind of, it, it reminds me, it's kind of like the old saying, you never go grocery shopping when you're hungry. Because when you're really hungry, you're going to buy more stuff because, yeah, I can't wait to eat this now. I can't wait to eat this because I'm thinking about eating and because I'm hungry. But if we take a moment and we go whenever we're already full or just buy what's on the list or stick to it, even though it sucks during it, we won't, we'll spend money. We won't spend money that we shouldn't be spending, which is good. So kind of an odd analogy, but one that kind of fits. Anyway, that'll be all for today. We'll see how what happens to the brothers next time. May God bless every single one of you. I won't see all the rest of you for the re for an entire week. I'll see you next Tuesday. But I hope everyone has a God bless, wonderful, wonderful day and week coming up. And I hope that everything is great for all of you. May God bless and goodbye for now, everyone.